Welcome back everybody. How are you? Well, it's been a crazy, crazy summer. I've been doing a lot of a lot of fun stuff here and there and everywhere. And I wanted to um, give you an update on the Spider Holster. It's actually called the Spider X. Um, this is a device of what you use with your DLR, DSLR camera or your film camera, whatever. And basically this fits within this little device of what you attach to your belt. Okay, this is the Spider X. And then what happens is this plate of which I have removed the nub, because the nub is on the drill. Okay, this nub normally goes onto this plate. Okay. And then what happens is, is this nub that's on the base of your camera slides into this device, okay? This is the Spider X, okay? They have different versions of these, ones that come with um, the paddle on it and all that kind of stuff, but it has a little lock on the side. And basically what happens is, is this metal lug fits into here and it dangles all around. It's a much easier way to get um, your camera at hand you can mount it in all different kinds of ways I've just adapted it to my drill as opposed to just using the belt clip belt clip I don't like because it's not sturdy um, but this has a little lock on it so when I put this in the lock position okay I can put my drill in and it will not come out it just doesn't until you unlock it this is an awesome thing takes a little bit getting used to to putting this on there but this goes on my tool belt okay i have a standard two inch this just happens to be an soe two inch duty belt that the police normally wear wear but i've adapted this to fit onto my belt it says that it will fit a two inch belt okay but this is not solid at all. See how that's open? This will fit probably a one and three quarter inch belt. Um, it, 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 it just comes off. So, what do I have to fight against that? Well, <clears throat> I have this. This is called a Tech Lock. And this is made by another company. Again, all of these parts are not meant to fit together. This, along with that nub to fit on your camera, is meant to fit on your camera as a system. This is completely different. They do make a tool version that fits on the tool, but the the one that fits on the tool, it's called the holster tool holster. Same concept, but the nub is plastic and it velcros. It velcros around uh, the handle of the tool, and I don't like that. Uh, I wanted something cleaner, and that's what this is. So this video is going to take this poor belt clip that's on here that doesn't work for my tool belt and I'm gonna adapt this tech lock by a company called blade tech okay once this is on here and is safely attached to this this will never come off so I can pull as much as I want uh, the reason for that was is I found myself on the job and I locked my drill in and I'll go to pull it I forgot to unlock it and it pulled the belt clip with it so this once I adapt this to this that will never come off so let's uh, take this apart and uh, find out how to adapt this hmm again I find myself trying to adapt stuff that shouldn't be adapted, but it's kind of fun. So let's give it a shot. Come on, let's go. All right, so let's see what we got here. So this is the plate off the uh, Spider X, okay? That we don't use, <clears throat> and that's the uh, holster itself. So we want to replace that with this device. So you'll notice that this device... And if you have a Spider X and you want something better, even on the camera side, get one of these Blade Tech uh, devices. They are super solid, okay? This has a lock on it, 
Okay, so you lock that down. You push the two sides in, which are very difficult to do, and this opens up. Okay, then this will bolt onto the back of there like that. This goes around and locks. And no matter what size belt you have, if you have a small little dress belt, it, you can move it. Okay, it comes with these two things, so you can you can adjust the height for it. So if you have a little itty bitty skinny belt, you know, you can go, I don't know if any belt's that skinny, but might be that skinny. Okay, so you can adapt this all to that. So let's take this apart. Let's move all these parts, okay, and see what we got. Let's do that. Okay, so in studying this, this is a very simple device. There's a piece of, a little slug of metal at the base, okay. But it's very simple, it's open. So if I just simply use this as a template, what I can do here is there's a bunch of screw holes and all that kind of stuff on the back of here that doesn't doesn't quite match up to anything here. You could probably match it, sort of, maybe. Yeah, I could probably match it. But I want it centered up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drill holes in this. I'm going to drill holes in this plastic that match up with this. And then what I'll do is I'll just take these screws here and just screw it into the back of the thing. And Bob's your uncle. You're all done. So let's go do that right now. Let me get some uh, drill bits and we'll be right back. All right. So let me um, match this up and see what we got. Get the lock out of there. Good. All right. Looks good. Oops. Okay. Good. All right, let's go drill this. I'll be right back. I'm gonna smell better. Now, if this is a little buggered like this one, you won't notice it because it will be closed over. All right. So you'll notice that if you try to put the screws in now, they sit proud of that. And we don't want that. We want them just to be slightly indented. So I'm going to use a chamfering bit. Chamfer those in there. So we're literally just going to drop this on top of here, right there, use that existing hole to there,
too. Okay, so what you can see, it's not the straightest. It's not laser straight out, and I really don't care. But uh, I took it and I drilled this out. Okay, so what you'll see is just that. And this is, this will fit. So what I had to do was, there's nothing like a good bodge session to bodge stuff together. So I drilled these out. It comes with these screws and these lower ones that are, that are really tiny. And they wouldn't fit through here, so I had some old screws from, I don't know, whatever. And when you suck this down super, super tight on the bottom here, the lock doesn't work. Okay. So this lock is a little more um, tighter, I think. I don't know. But it works. Works just fine. Yep. Okay. Good. Yep. See, it ain't coming out. It ain't coming out. All right, cool. So now, so now, let's move all these parts. Blade tech parts. Blade tech. Tech lock. And I'll put these parts links down below. Blade tech. Tech lock. Okay. And this is spider holster company and this is the camera division they have two divisions one's a camera division which this comes from and then there's a tool division and the tool division you don't have to do all this bodging like i've done but um again so what i can now do on my belt take this put this like uh take these out two inch belt there's one. There's two. Pop that over like that. Take the lock out. Lock it in place. So these clip in just like that. And then the lock goes in. And this is not coming off of this belt. Okay? This is not coming off of this belt. <clears throat> so my camera wearer guys that buy this for their for their cameras, and this just works as normal, okay? Fits on there. Um, so for my camera guys, you guys are carrying around multiple thousand dollar cameras, okay? This little belt clip that they give you for this thing, where is it? This thing is a piece of junk. It's stamped steel. I realize it's the smallest one that they, you know, the cheapest one that they make. But you just pull that camera off of there once and you go to put it on and think you know where it is. Yeah, this is a way better solution. This is how this should have been. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm going to have to play with this lock a little bit. It's crunchy. Um, and this I have to put a shim in. So on this belt, this still moves back and forth, which... I got to play with the placement, and then I'll put a shim in. So any place that these are, they get a they get a little uh, wrapper shim itself. But this is from uh, Spider Holstery. Okay, goes in, holds your drill just perfect, man. Look, locks right in. So hmm. I think, yeah, and it's not going anywhere. See, it's locked in. It's not going anywhere. So that's very cool. So this is a worthwhile upgrade doing. So that's pretty cool. I'm digging that. I'm digging that a lot. Okay. This is a Blade Tech Tech Lock. Okay. And this is Spider Holster Camera Holster. This is the Camera Holster. This is the Spider X. Okay. When you buy the Spider X, so when you buy the Spider X, it will come with this plate, okay? And it has this pin already attached to it. I've removed mine. The pin actually goes right there, right where this hole is, and it will be attached to there. 
I've pulled mine out, okay? I have multiple drills, so the one that I've used there is on here. Okay, I have another one, but you can also order these spider anti-twist pins, okay? And they're just called anti-twist pins. You can go on their site and get it there, okay? But this is worthwhile. I'm gonna go put a shim in this, and uh, and this is really kind of bomb-proof now, to where um, I did have a problem up on a roof, but the drill was on a tether. See this tether here? There's another video on the tether itself. So we were up on a roof, and I went to go lean down on this roof, and the whole drill and the uh, and the uh, belt clip came off and started to slide down, but luckily I had it on a tether, so it didn't fall off the roof uh, and hurt somebody. So um, go get you some of these. You'll have to bodger it up a little bit. And there's a video on how I adapted this to this drill. This is this. You have to get a bolt and you have to cut the threads down. And there's a, there's a whole thing on how to adapt this to this drill because these two thread pitches, one on the thread pitch on this and the thread pitch on the drill, are completely different. So you have to cut those down. Again, this is not an easy. This is not an easy fix. If you want an easy fix, go to their tool division and they make one that wraps around the handle, velcros around the handle, and it has this little thing. The problem is, is when you go to grab that drill this nub is up on here so you know it'll be in the way of your hand and it's, it's plastic and i don't like the plastic i like the metal so go to spider holster and go get a uh i think it's called a spider x um and it, it's going to take a little bit uh you have to do you have to do some creativeness uh but again these are bulletproof these are these things are bomber and if you don't use, I, I run the I run both. So if I'm not having my tool belt on, and I still want to clip it to the front of the belt or hanging on something, I still have that ability. But when I'm wearing my belt, I always run this. So again, thanks for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it out, uh, and if you like content, please consider subscribing. Thanks for joining me. We'll talk to you guys later. You go bodge something together. Thanks. Bye bye.